If you're running into some invalid data issues, like we've got a name with a question mark because it can't figure out the formula, or you want to use the circle invalid data feature, well, let me show you that feature first. This feature will only work on a range of cells that's been set up using the data validation feature. In other words, I got a range of cells here that I set up with data validation saying that it has to be a number, I think greater than 100 and less than 999. But if I have something in there besides a whole number like text, I can go ahead and use the circle invalid data feature, which is found up here. Click on the uh, data tab, go to the data tools group and click on the data validation drop down arrow and say that you want to see all those cells if there are any. They are invalid by circling them. Go ahead and select it and there you go. It circles that and says, okay, you got a range here set up tied to the data validation feature here. So if I go ahead and select the range and I click on data validation, it's supposed to be a whole number, like I said, between 100 and 999. And if it's text, it's not a whole number, so it's invalid. So if I click cancel and I come in here and I type in a number this time that's greater than 100, like 150, hit enter, it removes the uh, invalid data circle there. And then like I said, we've got our name with a question mark. It just means that the formula hasn't been completed or it's not typed in correctly. You can come up here, look in the formula bar, of course, you can click on the information drop down arrow and say you want to edit in the formula bar. It takes us right up to it, the cursor's flashing in it. And you can see that the formula is correct in that it equals the average of a range of cells, but if you'll notice, D8 has got no colon. To separate that, when I put it in a colon, now you can see down below it's, it's supposed to say D8 through G8. Without that colon, it's like, I don't have a cell that's D8, G8. It has one letter and a number not two letters and two numbers separated by a letter. In any case, when you're done, hit enter, fixes the invalid data. And of course, as we went over in a previous training video, this is a divided by zero error. In other words, it's trying to take the average of this range. And if it doesn't have anything in it, it's going to say, okay, we have zero to divide by this range. So put in a number, give it something to work on. Even if we go ahead and we type in zero, it's got something to go by. It has at least one cell divided into zero is going to be zero, as opposed to zero cells dividing into zero, it doesn't divide by zero. And of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the data validation for this range of cells, you want to watch the uh, data validation training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, Please see the description below this video.